Alright, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yerushai. Double honors to the apostles and others of Great Millstone uh, who rule well. And peace and blessings to the elect Akim out there pushing this word in truth and sincerity. You know, because there's going to be a there's going to come a time where we're not going to be able to push this truth like we are now, which is why uh, I think through the Spirit the uh, the elders wanted us to make you know three videos a week. Because I'm going to go to this article. Um, I don't know if like this is what's in the uh, uh, Spirit right now is this. Uh, net neutrality repeal that's going to go down on uh, December 14th now it's I mean like <laughs> well, I'll, I'll just go in on it because uh, to give you background information net neutrality was basically a way to for everybody to have uh, unlimited access on the internet uh, for people that have access to the internet so anybody that can get to a computer and like uh, connect to Wi-Fi or 4G you know they can basically go anywhere on the internet um, but when they repeal that the the uh, internet server providers like uh, Comcast uh, AT and T, Verizon, uh, and so on. You know they'll be able to uh, monopolize it. You know basically, uh, uh, you know blocking content that rivals with their organization. So, for instance, AT and T can block all Verizon content or any content that might uh, be threatening towards their organization um, or if uh, if you have a spiritual eye you know you'll see that you know uh, the elite the ones that are funding these organizations uh, will tell them to block stuff that's threatening them um, I'm gonna grab this article um, this is on gizmodo.com and the title of uh, the article is what actually happens the day net neutrality is uh, is, rep is repealed um, it says the first part is saying that um, that the FCC Like voting to repeal it is only like the start of it and it's gonna have to go through a lot more hoops for it to like get that way which Lord willing it it won't I hope it you know goes that way as soon as possible but um uh, without net neutrality ISPs like Comcast, AT&T, Verizon will legally be able to conduct their business businesses very differently than they do now. For example, they could give uh, preferential treatment to services they directly profit from and block those that they don't. All the all the while charging internet companies like Netflix additional fees for speedier access to consumers. Costs that can count on being reflected in your monthly billing statement. While several major uh, ISPs, internet server providers, uh, have essentially promised never to do any of these terrible, no good, very bad things, they've steadily opposed any law that would actually stop them. Uh, Comcast actually deleted its promise after Pi announced the vote. Uh, Ars Tech Technica reported Wednesday. Uh, so yeah, man. Like, <laughs> uh, so it, it it can. They'll they'll be able to block anything that uh, uh, they want, really. 
You know, it's them playing God. They, they allow what information is being brought out, and they allow what information uh, can be brought out. Um, you know, I'm, I'm going to grab the scripture. Uh, this is Amos 8 and 11. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord uh, God, uh, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread nor thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. And they shall, yeah, because that's how uh, Great Millstone pushes out this word is through these videos, man. Just like I said, the, the elders put a, 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 a command out to where you have to push to make at least three videos a week. You know, and that's uh, excluding the camp videos, you know. Because every Saturday, you know, brothers across the world go out on the highways and byways and make a video <clears throat> out in public. Um, and they shall wander from sea to sea and from the north even to the east they shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord and shall not find it yeah because right now it's, it's just like we see that this is like the first step towards the famine of the word now on December 14th when uh, they do repeal it you know it's, it's not just gonna I mean, it could, because pro like the elders say, like once a major prophecy like happens, like all these prophecies are gonna happen, and it's gonna be too late for them to find the word. But once like they repeal this, it's not like we're not gonna go out on on Saturdays and uh, teach anymore. We're still gonna go out there, and probably still gonna make videos. It's, we're just gonna have to be slowed down, because that's what a famine is. Like famines don't don't just like. Like when there's a famine of uh, uh, food or a crop, you know, it's not like they all just die. It's, they slowly start to get, uh, 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 they slowly get harder to access. Or like when a drought happens, the, <clears throat> the water source gets smaller and then it's all out. And as they get closer to it getting all out it starts to speed up faster and then it just cuts off so yeah this is, this is definitely because right now they're kind of uh, um, <coughs> uh, censoring our content through the uh, uh, to the terms and conditions of YouTube because you know it, it's common for uh, us for uh, <coughs> Our videos to get flagged for hate content because you know we talk about how these heathens are going into slavery and I have to gonna uh, uh, pay for the wicked things that they done to Israel and we also talk about um, <coughs> uh, how, how two-thirds of our nations are gonna die and how the judgment is is the judgment of the Lord is is uh, is dark and gloomy and because <clears throat> the terms and conditions I'm going to grab the terms and conditions and this is about hate speech we encourage free speech and try to defend your right to express unpopular points of views uh, but we don't permit hate speech um, hate speech refers to content that promotes violence against or has the primary purpose of inciting hatred against individuals or groups based on certain attributes such as race or ethnic origin, religion, disability, gender, age, veteran status, sexual orientation, gender identity. You know, and that's, you know, uh, you know and basically one, every one of those, uh, uh, you know, uh, they can be labeled on us because, you know, we, we go but they really can't at the same time because we, we deal with spiritual and this is dealing with carnal looks on things. That's, that's why we have to back uh, everything we say up with scripture cause, so it doesn't seem like a carnal hate speech. It's actually a, a spiritual hate speech, like uh, uh, righteous, righteous anger. Um, but yeah, it, 
uh, there is a fine line between what is and what is not considered to be hate speech. Um, for instance, it is generally okay to criticize a nation state, but if the primary purpose of the content is to incite hatred against a group of people solely based on their ethnicity, or if the content promotes violence based on any of these core attributes like religion, it violates our policy. But uh, the scriptures say otherwise. He promotes hate speech. Because the Most High hates, contrary to popular, popular belief. Um, this is Psalms 139, uh, verse 21. Do not I hate them, O Lord, that hate thee? And am not I grieved with those that rise up against thee? You know, Esau, man, the, the two-thirds of our people rise up against thee. And we hate them with perfect hatred. Is that considered hate speech? Are you going to flag this video? Because I'm pushing out uh, that, that you're trying to get rid of my word? You know, that's... <laughs> man, I hope you do just to prove a point, man. Uh... You know, and that's basically why they're so hesitant about uh, cutting off, um, cutting our videos. Shit, if, if you're going to slowly do it, you might as well just do it all at once. That would be the smart thing to do. But when you slowly start to do it, people are going to realize that it's getting harder to uh, uh, access. And <clears throat> when things are harder to access that makes it more valuable people are going to realize that this is the truth um i hate them with a perfect hatred i count them my enemies you know he says i hate them with a perfect hatred you know and and we hate we hate these other other uh nations because it is part of the law you know uh there, there's certain laws in the scriptures that tell you to deal with the other nations a certain way. You know, don't, <clears throat> don't, uh, you know, it, like, it, it's against the law to pick up a dead animal carcass and cook it if, if that animal died of natural cause, like you didn't hunt in it and kill it. Uh, it was unlawful for you to grab that uh, carcass and cook it and give it to your fellow Israelite. But with the heathens, you can, it was A-OK -okay for you to do that. Um, <clears throat> that that's just one uh, example. But, uh, you know, I, I was mainly getting on the famine of the word because, you know, that's, that's the spirit going out right now. Um, you know, it, it's, it's why you have to, uh, uh, you know, constantly be in the scriptures because one day, you know, you're not going to have uh, uh, the, the, the the word. Like, you're not going to have the tool, all the tools uh, that, you know, we have now that makes it so uh, accessible, you know. Um, it says, uh, the scriptures say that knowledge and wisdom shall be the stability of thy time. Um... See, I'm trying to find it. Uh, um, it's like you trying to find one of my favorite uh, scriptures. thought it was in Revelations, the third chapter. Yeah. Yeah, come on. It's Revelations 3 and 11. Behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast which thou hast, 
that no man take that crown, you know, because he's coming back to crown his elect, to be rulers over uh, these other nations. Um, and you got to hold have, hold fast to what, what uh, understanding you have, because that, that's what's going to bring you uh, stability and, and salvation ultimately. You know, so whatever knowledge that you have, you have to, you know, hold on to it and grow in it. You know, this thing is about growth, too. You can't just, uh, you know, hold on to your talent and sit on your ass and then, you know, expect that that's going to be enough. No, you got to you gotta uh, take that little bit of uh, mustard seed because, you know, when we first heard this truth, there's, you know, maybe uh, just a little bit of knowledge, a little bit of faith. You know, that, that faith is going to grow once you hold fast, you hold on uh, fast to it, you know, because on my way over to the spot where I do my videos at, I was thinking like, like, uh, like when the famine of the word does happen and like Jacob's trouble does happen, I was kind of think like, at, <clears throat> like previously I thought that, you know, that's when it was going to start to get harder and a lot more uncomfortable, but really it should increase your faith and you know it should make it easier to give up these things in the world because we're starting to see these prophecies happen because that's really when you uh, those doubt demons hop on you is when uh, the, the, like there haven't been uh, like these prophecies are still holding off uh, brothers aren't waking up like we go out there every week but nobody's coming to listen you know everybody that does come to listen they only want to hear what they want to hear and you know run off but yo the, when, when shit starts popping off you're gonna realize that this thing is true you know you gotta remember the signs that he has shown you and you gotta rebuke those doubt demons cause, cause even yeah, how Shai had uh, doubt demons uh, on him you know when, when he said uh, my god my god why have you forsaken me you know that was a doubt demon he <coughs> Uh, but, you know, the Lord was still dealing with them, and, you know, he still fulfilled prophecy. And, and like, once he, once he died, the, the, uh, the disciples, uh, you know, they, they, they started getting doubts. They, they were all sad and shit. And then when, once the prophecy fulfilled that uh, he arose from the dead, people were like, damn, this shit's real. You know, that, that's what we're going to start uh, saying, like, when, when shit starts popping off. When when the the <clears throat> this truth starts to get harder to uh, harder to be accessible, you know, w once once there are bodies dropping everywhere, we're gonna, you know, because <clears throat> we have that knowledge that this was gonna be, uh, happen, you know. So hold hold said fast. Or, uh, I'm just, I'm gonna read it again. I'm gonna end with this scripture. This is a badass scripture. Revelations 3 and 11 Behold I come quickly Hold that fast which thou hast That no man take thy crown You know Cause that crown could be for you Shalom